What's good guys, we are here with OSD quarterfinals, the last match, and we have Lord Outrage versus Malekith. And this is game one, best of three. So let me look at the teams. We see some bulky offense pretty much on both sides. Probably Rox Lennon Scarf Chomp on Malekith team. Uh, would be Zimuth. Uh, I could still be Zimuth Garlandrus. Greninja is probably um, probably Protein on Malekith's team. I feel like that's more common on a team that has two water types. You don't really see Ash Greninja that often. Yeah, Mega Scissor obviously. And on the other side we see um, oh we see two Mega Scissors, yeah. We see probably a Solvest Tangros since he has a scissor to switch into Metagross. Helmet Tangros doesn't make much sense. We see potentially Shechel Lele. Because otherwise he would be kinda weak to stall. And he has a he has a he has a Marowak which can do work versus stall. So I guess he could be specs later. That set has been used lately a bit. That's pretty cool. So I assume Malakith is gonna scout for a potential gunk shot here. But this I could see it's being Protein Greninja, but not 100 percent sure. Defox Scissor makes a lot of sense on his team. I don't think he would be spikes plus rocks. So if I'm Malakith here I go. What do I do here? This is actually a hard turn. This is really a hard turn. His only gunk shot resists are uh, yeah he could get scarf jump on gunk shot. But that's risky if um Lord Ovich predicts that. So I assume that Scarf Greninja since he went for U-turn and he's Protein. Like Protein only runs U-turn if it's Scarf, I feel. So I assume it's a uh, rock slide, U-turn, and either ice beam or Hydro Pump, and but what do they run in the last slot, Scarf Ninja? I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, they run Spike sometimes, but that's not that common. No, uh, the two NJMP teams I saw used in SPL had Spikes. So yeah, Malekith misses the uh, Nature's Madness, which is a bit annoying for him, but... I don't know how much that will matter. Like, how much that will come into play since Tangus has a generator. It would be pretty much at... Mid 80% after oh he misses again okay that sucks so now he just lost the lefties on his feet and didn't gain anything in return. I probably would have gone to scissor there if I was another kid or into yeah probably scissor he has like he doesn't have good switches to turn with he just has to hope it doesn't have HP fire. Like if he goes scissor he could have U-turn out into like Greninja scouting for HP fire or into like Landers as a mid ground play because Lord Outrage might have gone for Kick It Rain on the scissor predicting Malekith to scout like this turn. I would U-turn scouting for HP fire but he could predict that and stay in since Tangus eats a U-turn but I know that he needs the Tangus, he knows he needs the Tangus healthy so this dodges are a bit lucky I guess. So yeah, he turns out on the Marek, it's the Landris in. If this was be a Willowist Marek, that would be cool for Lord Outrage. But I think this will be a Stallbreaker Marek with Outwill Wisp. Yeah, Malekith just gets up rocks. And Lord Outrage, depending on, like he can either exchange rocks with his opponent or he can just HPS slash U-turn. I feel like going Hard Ninja is an option for Malekith on the rocks or on the U-turn. But just going HP as damage off is fine. I just wasn't sure there if I would have um, gone for HP eyes. Because Lord Outrage could have gone for HP eyes on his own. And having Landra's healthy is really nice for Malekith. Oh, goes for Protect on a Z move. Lord play, the god is here. So it's probably the um, HP eyes, Protect, Earthquake, Rocks Lando. Used by uh, Ray Scarface in SBR. I think I don't know if ABR used it too, but I think ABR talked about that set. 
Maybe even now I even created the set. But yeah, I've been using the set lately in a few of my teams and I really like it because you don't... It's really nice protect with leftovers. You just get health back. Like you can like get rid of the damage you take from stealth rocks. It's pretty amazing. You can like... Sometimes my land was, if it was helmet, it would have been at 30% but with leftovers I got it back up to 60. And I could check more better and I could check... Um, a lot of Merrick, yeah. So it's pretty, the set is pretty cool, but not having U-turn is... Like, on teams with Medicham, obviously you prefer U-turn. Um, it also, this set is also amazing for checking Ben Zygarde. So, yeah. It goes for Psychic there, and... If this is not choice, Lily Malekis has a big problem. If it's choice, you can go Greninja or Scizor. But yeah, L let me look at Arthur's team. He already revealed that he's probably Scarf Greninja, so I don't think this later would be. Yeah, it's either Specs Lele or like Twisted Spoon or Shedshell. I don't really see what else he could be. He already showed his Z move Landris, so it's not Z Focus Blast Lele, which is also a cool set to blow back Pharaoh and Heatran. Like Heatran, especially. Pharaoh, you kill with HP Fire anyway. But yeah, Z Focus Blast is cool. Haven't seen that set lately. But yeah, he's not that set, obviously. Just talking about sets that I like. Um, cause um, lately I've been watching some other Poketubers, and then like when they when they like talk about a cool set or talk about the meta game, I just take that idea and build around that set. So hmm. yeah, I really don't know what I would do here if I was another kid. Um, I'm obviously not staying in with the Landris, but. Feeny actually doesn't do that much, but would you go Feeny here? Like, like a lot of people don't like Feeny in this meta game. I kind of agree. He goes Ninja, pretty this to be choice, gets it correct. Hmm. Yeah, if he's damn. Obviously, you can't stay in there with the Landers, but going. Greninja's wild, what if he was not choice and went for Moonblast? But yeah, it worked out, can't say anything more like the goat. Yeah, he's Ash Green, okay, didn't I say he's Protein? Well, I think I predicted the sets completely wrong, I think I said... Oh, which could be Ash Green, the other guy could be Protein, I think it's the complete other way around. <laughs> But yeah, I still stand by that Lord Albridge is probably Scarf Greninja. Tangos takes a lot considering it's AV. Yeah, Tangos has pretty bad Spadef, but yeah, with Max Spadef and AV it's decent. So we can see um, the Scissor come out here. If Lord Albridge doesn't have HP Fire, he's gonna double on the Scissor, because the Scissor is so obvious. Okay, he doesn't double. That's weird. I don't know why he didn't double there, because the Scissor was like so obvious. Trying to catch, yeah, trying to catch Malakis. Staying in with Greninja, I guess, yeah. So he's gonna U turn slash roost slash defog. Okay, roost. <laughs> so this is the kind of crush. So it could be SD Landorus. Well, I'll might just get off some chip damage with Earthquake, because if he EQC and the scissor U turns, that doesn't do anything for Lord Outrage, because then he's forced out anyway. Or oh, force to sack this versus the one that comes in. So I feel like he goes for EQ here or U turn on his own then. Yeah, U turn on his own is an option. But now he's already revealed that he's kind of crushed, so he's probably rocks SD and Earthquake. Yeah, I don't know why I said U turn. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, so this doesn't have HP eyes then, which means Malakis is free to go for Earthquake here predicting the switch. Okay, goes for HP eyes. Playing it safe there, I can get behind that, you never know. I assume we see Ruth from the scissor. Oh, he's, he really went for U-turn. 
Yeah, like you don't make sense if you predict the switch, but Malakis, damn. Malakis predicted him there to like stay in. That was a god play. Good. Like I would. Wait, how does Malakis? Malakis is kind of weak to Scizor. That's why that was a risky play of here. Because if he has D there, it's obviously not SD. Not not obviously. He could still be SD Scizor. But I think default makes a bit more sense. Just if he was SD there, like he doesn't have much for it. Like his his SD scissor counters like probably probably has a fire moving large jump. Other than that, it's just ask Ash Ninja to get off damage on Mega Scissor. It doesn't have the best answers. I mean, Coco Coco kind of does a lot to Greninja with T Bolt. Uh, not Greninja Scissor, <laughs> but it's not like a good counter. Yeah, most of the one fist death to check Melgrass and Bulu. So that's why Coco just does a lot with electric drink T bolt. Get the Lily got back in. But they allowed other just to see if he can find and get the opportunity to roost up a scissor which would be on Garchomp blocked into a dragon move or into Earthquake. Or potentially on this landers if he gets this in on a, this is or in on a double. So this is a mind game here because a lot of which could double predicting. Malakis to go Greninja again. So I could see Malakis making a mid ground play. Uh, predicting the Greninja, what would Lot Alvich do? He would double into Tangrowth maybe if he predicts the Greninja. Did he double into Tangrowth? No he didn't, he just made it safe play there. Attacking what's in front of him, not risking. And to just Malakis is just getting his plays correct so far, damn. Oh, he gets a crit there, that sucks, but um this doesn't kill, so I don't think this then this crit doesn't suck, this is some justice because he missed he missed two natures madness earlier on this tank roof. I don't think you go for the flinch though, it's I think the last dark post did 31. They didn't crit. Let me see. Yeah, that's 31. So even if this is a roll, I don't think it's a roll. We would have to get a flinch or crit to kill this. So we probably see a d Giga Drain here because he can't risk. Or okay, he might finally made the double. So Lord Alfred finally saying, I've had enough. I've had enough, you're going Scizor. So he doesn't have HP fire on his chambers, then otherwise he would have gone for it there, I feel. He's probably um, HP fire Scizor then? Where do you go Scizor? Uh, the Greninja. Why am I saying Scizor? I'm mixing up the words. He just u turns there, predicting Malakis to scout for HP Fire. Nice and aggressive play. Yeah, I don't know if he would be HP Fire on Scarf when it's a bit odd to me, but obviously you have to scout for it if you're Malakis. Greninja is just one of these mods that can do so many things. Gets so many moves, gets that Protean stab, even though Hidden Power is such a dangerous mod. Yeah, every Scarf is said Scarf and Power Fire isn't this thing. By you turning out on the type of he gets off the changes the terrain with this Lele, so Psychic is um, a big threat to this Fini. I could see this being specs the way this has been played. He just has been clicking Psychic all the time, he never switched on moves, and don't think he's scarfed, like I said earlier. I feel like you psychic again here. If it, if it's if it's backs and it kills the Fini, psychic again is a decent play. But because I feel the Malakis would stay in predicting what I wish to predict the uh, Greninja and go for Moonblast. For <clears throat> so Malakis, I probably go Scissor. Exactly, exactly. I don't know if I said the play before. Minute. That's a mid ground play, but oof. that it's so much. Yeah, I think that's backs. Yeah, yeah, that's backs. Damn it, there's so much. That was a mid ground play because it can live a psychic, and in case he clicked Moonblaster, that would have been a pretty nice play there. Might have avoided 2 KO, even. I don't know if it would have avoided the 2 KO for Moonblast, but I assume he just psychic again, yeah. Obviously, if he stayed in, he's locked in. So, Specs Greninja, I don't know if Tangus is in range to get 2 KO'd yet. Tangus is probably. Um, it's a, maybe a roll to 2 KO the Tang. 
or maybe it's Malekith's it's not Aldris' favor, but now this Greninja just became a threat. Because he sacked the land. I mean, I agree with sacking the land with that. He didn't have a good switch in. Going tank was there. With Rocks up, now it was not a roll. With Rocks up, you would have gone 2 it killed. Yeah, probably 2 it killed with Rocks, unless he got absolute min damage, the mana kid. So I assume the Scarf going to go for you, Johnny. Yep, yep, yep. Mm, this, this game is kind of interesting. I'm, kinda, I'm happy that we don't have stall on any of the sides. So far, I can imagine that we will see game stall in game two, but yeah, we will see what happens. You turn again into Lele. Uh, I think we will see se uh, Malekith sacking off his scissor here, since a scissor at 16% um, after rocks doesn't really do much. It, it doesn't beat anything on the opposing team. Like it can roost up on the tank rules and beat the tank rules, but. I don't see what it's doing besides than that. Uh, it also beats the Greninja if it's a bit hel if it would be healthy, and if the Greninja doesn't have HP fire. Yeah, where Scarf is said in chat, no, they carry Psychic other than Specs and Scarf. Yeah, the, the Twisted Spoon said and and the Shed Shield said they run Psy Shot most of the time to hit Chansey harder. But I haven't actually paid attention at all to the smoke to chat. I still like to record the smoke to chat. Sometimes there's something funny, and I sometimes rewatch my own video just to read the smoke to chat. I know some people watch the videos just for the chat, but I hope some people also watch for my narration. <laughs> I know yesterday was a bit weird that Ben Gay series, and I was not in the recording for game one. But yeah, today we are here. We are popping. We are rocking. We're not gonna have like. Like the the first game between J Stays and Ben Game was a bit that was like after J Stays crit Ben Gay's Vol Corona. There were a few turns that that game was just so long after that for no reason. Yeah, he fixed the scissor. Obviously that was the play to make. I don't know why it took so long. Nah, I'm not doubting that I'm not doubting Malik is the god. He's probably thinking long term about what what he can do afterwards after he sacks it. He goes to Coco, T Bull obviously kills Lord Aldridge's um, Lele. Since he lost the Lamus, he doesn't have to switch in unless he's Lightning Rod Marowak. Uh, Lightning Rod alone Marowak hasn't been used much lately, and I feel like he would be um, Rocket Marowak on this team because he's kind of weak to stall. Like yes, Specs Lele, but Specs Lele doesn't break stall because you have to. And yeah, it doesn't even. I don't think it runs side shock either. Okay, so he might be lightning rock the way he brings in his Malek. Malek is the god going for U turn. They're predicting that. Um. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. He could have. I don't know what I'm saying. He obviously had a Tangrus to switch in. Yeah. Yeah. U turn makes sense there on the Tangrus slash Malek. Yeah. God play. Like there's no way um not other sexes specs Lily because it can still get a kill if it comes in on the Fini. Uh on the Landris. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, protect on the Landris is helping out Malekith because it can help him see what Lord Alvich locks himself into with his Specs Lily. Like early he knew it was Specs Lily, but yeah. That has been helping out. And we see Zim of Guard Jump go for Conan will crush on Merrick. Then Con Tangos eats it up and I assume it might be Died to an earthquake now, and I think we see um Lord Aldrich switch out here. Maybe sack the, sack the, I don't know. Merak is super low after rocks. I know I might have sacked the Merak if I was Lord Aldrich, because Merak is so slow anyway. Yeah, he sacks the scissor. I mean, scissor still lives, but he can get off some bullet punch chip damage on a guard jump. Yeah, I assume Malekith will just stay in. If he wants to keep his um, guard jump healthy, he can also switch into Landorus. But I feel like he can just stay in. He doesn't need this guard jump at full for anything. If it's Scarf Ninja with Ice Beam, guard jump loses to that anyway. It's only nice to it's nice to take a hydro pump from ninja to keep it at this health, I guess. Cause I assume hydro pump from Greninja is like 70 to 80. To guard jump that's just my head calc, I don't know the actual calc. But I'm pretty sure it won't kill from 94. Yeah, he just gets the chip. Not always just gets the chip and sex is scissor and like it stays in. Now it's probably in a hydro pump range from Gren. So we see Gren come out and 
Hmm. Scarf jump is kind of important for Maliki, so. Hmm, it's not super important actually. Merrick is Merrick can become a big threat since the tangles is the tangles is at like forty percent. After rocks, it's a bit lower. It's at mid thirties after rocks. So Tapu Koko can become a huge threat. Merrick is at thirty four after rocks. Even if it's lightning rock, it's only coming in one time, one more time in Coco. Um, so I'm actually not sure if he even if he needs the scarf jump. Oh, I said did I say scarf jump? Um, it's obviously kind of under crush. My bad, guys. I know someone will obviously, someone of you will already have gone wild. It's not scarf jump. What are you talking about? So he he showed Z kind of under crush. Um, so maybe he scarfed Tapu Koko then. Or he just doesn't have a scarf because he has double priority between um, Water Shuriken and Bullet Punch. Maybe he just doesn't have a scarf then. Hm. Dang. Yamara comes in on Tapu Fi, but that gets to a kill by Moonglass. There's no way Yamara got speed unless it's like slow Fi and fa super fast Yamara. But yeah, I'm gonna upload uh, game one in a video and game two in a separate video again, and hopefully game three. I don't know if we will see game three. Malakis um, will probably win this game. He can kill the Merak here. And then Lord Outrage is gonna go to Lele, I assume. Lele or Gren? Now you can, you can basically go to all three ones he has left. The point in going Tangos would be because you get health back with Giga Draining. Yeah, if you go Tangles, you get drain, you get health back. He has no resists for Giga Drain. Like, Moonblast, how much does do AV Tangles? Like 16 maybe? Yeah, the, the chat said it. Malakis should have this. Yeah, I'm recording. Recording 1080 HP HD again. You all like the quality, like the the files are way bigger this way, so uploading takes super long. Like uploading like a 30 minute video takes like almost two hours for me. Probably like 90 minutes or two hours, yeah. So I yeah, was just letting the timer go down here, makes the tangles play and clicks Giga Drain. I don't know what else he can do. I feel like I've seen a team like Malakis is using in the forums with Scar and it had Scarf Coco, but it didn't have Z move uh, guard champ, but it has uh, different. But yeah, this team obviously doesn't have to be Scarf Coco. Mm -mm, I'm a big fan of running at least one Scarf, but I don't know. If it's really necessary on this team, let me look a bit. Oh, Volcarona? I mean, Z kind of crush checks Volcarona or just stone into your rock slide Garchomp, but your Garchomp has to be healthy, and if the Volcarona has HP ice, that doesn't check it. What I'm showing in Grinja kind of checks it. So you just basically have to get up rocks and then so kind of keep the Volcarona in Water Shuriken range. I don't know if Water Specs Water Shuriken kills Vol, get plus one after rocks. Goes Hard Coco on a Giga Drain. Never mind. Well, which doubles out. I just was so sure that he would click Giga Drain there. So this way he gets more health on his Tangrowth with Regenerator, and he's gonna sack his Lily off too. Not sure if a U-turn would kill this. Wait. Can the other two with Scarf Ninja? Um. 
Mm-hmm. Can potentially win with Scarf Green Ninja here. I don't know if the chat actually was talking earlier. If this game was over in Lord Outrage's favor or if it was over in Malekith's favor. Okay, you turn kills. Is this a physical cook or does it just do that much? Because I know Lily has bad defense. Because like uh, 4 times resisted high jump kick from Mega Mage Gym. I know Mega Gym is a beast, but it does like 40% to Lily from Jolly Mage Gym. Or uh, 38, which is super crazy. Considering it's a 4 times resist. <laughs> Yeah, just throw them with Landruth there, and we're gonna see the... <laughs> we can go Tangruth again and kick a drain or HP eyes. Oh, I don't think HP eyes would kill from 76. I think that's like 60 the Landru. Like by Giga Draining, at least you get health, but um, HPS doesn't kill anyway. You can Giga first and then HPS if Giga doesn't do it, kill. I mean, it's pretty obviously. Pretty obviously, that was no English, good god. It's pretty obvious that it's not HP Fire. I mean, that it's HPS thing. Same thing. Because that's a uh, Zyga check. Bandit Zyga is like a pretty big threat. Yeah, his land was offensive, so yeah, that doesn't check that I got well. That ah, actually, that's another cool set. Um, Dragonium Zyga with Outrage. I think it kills Landris, but I think you have to Dragon twice to kill with uh, Dragonium, the defensive lander. I don't know the Kalk. But the Alanus is pretty bulky, it should be able to live a neutral Dragonium Z Outrage at full defensive land. Damn, this HPS is doing actually nothing from the Alanus to the Tangrowth. Giga Drain is, um, with leftovers, it's a 4 hit KO probably. Like, now it's a roll, but Malekith is gonna go for Protect you to live. To live another Giga Drain. Hmm. Malakis should win this, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to say anything wrong. Okay, okay just checks his Lando. Some chip off with Earthquake and kiss all of which ones to go Greninja on HP eyes. <laughs> and he's physical Coco, that's what I was thinking earlier, because the U turned it so much to the to the to the Lele, even though like Coco has decent attack. So if this is Scar physical Coco, that's wild. Yeah, we will find out now if it's Scarf Coco. This Coco naturally outbeats. Naturally outbeats Grinja. I mean, yeah. Outlatch has to go for a gunk shot here. If he's scarfed, which is how he has been playing this Grinja, because U turn. I don't know what I'm talking about. This U turn makes only sense on Scarf. U turn is so weird on Grinja, because. Greninja gets all the coverage to kill everything basically. So you then is odd. But yeah, on Scarf Greninja, you can get behind it on Scarf Greninja. I mean what else yeah you have to lock into gunshot. What else can you lock him you like if you go for a hydro pump, you don't kill the opposing is she hydro pump might have Swept, but it's same accuracy, so Gunk should obviously get the better chance. No, I don't think Hydro Pump would have killed the Fini. 
from 22 maybe I'm not sure not from Scarf Grenadier yeah. yeah that was super close Malakos wins with Water Shuriken so was the Coco banded? I feel like the Coco could have been banded because it showed you turn Brave Bird and did a lot of damage yeah that was a cool game though but oof, I, did, I wasn't sure actually who won at the end Oh yeah, 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 um... Malkis obviously had it with Water Shuriken if the Greninja changed its typing. But I was, I was like thinking that the Greninja... Hmm. Ice Beam was his other move. Yeah, maybe he didn't have Hydro Pump. Yeah, he probably didn't have Hydro Pump. Oh yeah, he shot U-turn and Ice Beam and Gunk Shot. So his last move was a Rock Slide for Volcarona, which makes the most sense. Um, if he had... Hydro Pump, I might have gone for Hydro Pump. But he probably he didn't have Hyper Pump. But if he had it, he could have gone for that because then he would have resisted Water Shuriken. But I don't know if Hyper Pump would have killed this even. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna pause this, and make a new recording for game two. And peace out, friends. Hope you all enjoyed.